We have all experienced feeling overpowered. We are required to perform at the highest level as employees. As caregivers, we're supposed to keep our home spotless, cultivate our connections, and still find time to upload Instagram photos fit for a magazine. It is understandable that most individuals, and women, in particular, feel so stressed. We continually strive to fulfill impossible standards in every aspect of our life. Fortunately, there is indeed a solution. We can begin to become more aware of our values and aspirations by tuning out the pressure to succeed in what other people demand of us. We can devote our enthusiasm and effort to the areas of our daily lives that are truly important to us while looking for simple solutions for the rest. The subsequent sections will teach you how to develop into a lazy genius utilizing simple, doable tactics. You will discover where and when to slow down. Let go of your excessive impulses, and emphasize interacting with other individuals along the road. You will discover within those sections why having a tidy property does not guarantee that it will be welcoming, how small changes could indeed result in enormous changes, and why self-care is more than just taking hot showers. Chapter 1 There seems to be an alternative to becoming a perfectionist, which is draining and isolating. Did you feel as though your high expectations are something that you would never be able to meet regardless of how hard you work? Adaki, the writer, experienced this for most of her lifetime. Her dad had been violent and irrational while she was growing up. She made a concerted effort to do things correctly so she might avoid his fury. She was a brilliant student who kept her room immaculate at all times. Even so, her dad would always find something wrong. Additionally, she continuously felt that she was failed, which was frustrating. And it was alone. Adaki was so focused on being flawless that she was unable to be sensitive around the individuals she cared about. Nobody realized that she was genuinely having difficulties and needed help beneath her well-maintained facade. Adaki experienced a crisis as she left her family and began her initial work. She used to have to manage numerous additional obligations once she entered the reality of the world. She chose to give up striving once she realized she could not accomplish things correctly right away. She began to behave as if she did not give a damn. She ceased attempting to bake for friends and perform well at work, allowing her home to degenerate into a disorganized disaster. She was still totally worn out, though. This happens as a result of her continued obsession with perfectionism. She had tried to replace excessive effort with not attempting at all because she was just so afraid of making a mistake. Both of these settings did not truly represent her. Both prevented her from pursuing her actual ambitions and aspirations. She also gave a lot of consideration to how other individuals felt about her, even though it appeared on the outside that she had lost interest. Why else would she be so exhausted? Adaki, who considers herself a lazy genius, fortunately, succeeded to reach a compromise. She stopped rushing around attempting to make everything perfect and instead began focusing on what was truly important to her. A perfect home was not that significant. Getting a location where individuals could interact with one another was important. She felt it was a wasted opportunity to spend more time cultivating her yard. However, she found great delight in spending several hours cooking and creating desserts. She evolved into an independent roadmap and came up with a variety of tactics to enable her to follow her passions imperfectly. Chapter 2 True Change Occurs in Baby Steps We have all experienced feeling anxious when learning things took longer than expected. Adaki experienced it when she opted to begin meditating. She joined a club and committed to doing two courses each week. She was driven, eager, and aware of how much meditation meant to her. However, her exercise virtually disappeared a few days later. Why then did it not succeed? She had overexerted herself and attempted to accomplish too much, too quickly. She was anxious about progress, as were a lot of us. When you attempt to accomplish all at once, you wind up setting impossible standards for yourself. You do not stick with the adjustments you undertake, and like Adaki, you collapse within a few days. Consequently, you experience extreme frustration and resentment at our failure, and many times, you give up completely. A further instance of perfectionism showing its ugliest face is from that situation. It seems to reason that if an activity is not worth performing correctly, that is not worth performing at all. In actuality, no. You could cherish development for the sake of it if you are a lazy genius. 
If you enjoy things, it is nicer to perform them poorly than not at all, and little growth is preferable to none. Adaki ultimately chose to dedicate herself to performing a single meditation stance each day. Even though she was crowded, she was able to incorporate it in because it just required a few minutes and was simple to complete. She was occasionally motivated to repeat the action several times. She gradually became aware that the stance was becoming simpler and that she was becoming more flexible. She started the meditation practice she had always desired by making that initial step. Lazy genius employs minor, incremental changes as a key technique. All of the tactics we will cover in the next sections will only be effective if they are implemented quite progressively. Do not attempt to employ each strategy or make each modification to your lifestyle at once. Instead, pick only one portion of your regular schedule and make a small adjustment to it. Once that becomes part of the routine, you could switch to a different tactic. True change does not appear drastic, however, the outcomes are. You are permanently altering your lifestyle by maintaining the costs minimal and moving slowly. Chapter 3 Making Firm Judgments Might Help You Stay Composed and Focused There seems to be a cause behind Monday's unfavorable image. By taking advantage of the weekend's short break, it is that period of the work week when people feel that they must begin from scratch. Returning to the grind of office, college, and endless meetings could also be exhausting. Adaki chose to address her overloaded issue by repeating a few predetermined actions each week. For instance, she could dress the same on each Monday, choosing simple black clothes consisting of a shirt and pants. She seemed further in charge right away. She did not need to think twice before springing outside from bed and getting ready. Fixing your options allows you to avoid overcrowding your mind with options. Such a way of thinking can be used in all facets of your lifetime. For instance, choosing in principle an instant queue of meals that you prepare every week helps ease making meals. So rather than making regular impromptu journeys to the grocery store, pick a specific day to conduct a big grocery at a store you are familiar with. Your mind will feel calmer if you make those types of choices in advance since you will not have to contemplate and prepare as much. You may schedule because you will complete particular chores in addition to developing a thorough plan on how to accomplish so. Consider the task of tidying up a chaotic household. You can cluster jobs together to initially merely clean, next load the washing machine, then scour worktops, etc., rather than randomly handling each thing one at a time. Due to your ability to work automatically, you will discover that you retain a bunch of resources and are generally further at ease. We have largely talked about duties up to this point, however, you could also use similar concepts for special events. For instance, you might start a few formal customs, such as celebrating birthdays with a special supper or celebrating New Year's Eve surrounded by your relatives. Giving gifts can benefit from predetermined choices as well. You may decide which goods you wish to buy for each individual rather than stressing out over whatever anniversary things you wish to purchase for friends during the year. Such strategies might seem like they start taking the unpredictability and excitement out of anything because they let you concentrate on unwinding with the individuals you are concerned about, they could create celebratory situations more joyful. Chapter 4 Through some preparation, you could indeed diffuse potential conflict. Living often resembles throwing out small fires. Consider a relatively inconsequential circumstance, like collecting up your children from college. Let's say they are irritable and starving presently. Typically, you would just make the children a meal at the house. However, you are aware that your refrigerator is vacant, therefore you must visit the grocery store. But just as you walk into the grocery store, you remember your cash is at the house. Such are the kinds of circumstances when we frequently feel harried and overpowered. Fortunately, there exists a solution to reduce the anxiety associated with certain moments of the day. The golden query, as Adaki calls it, is this. What do I need to accomplish today to make things simpler subsequently? By setting out just a few munchies on the dinner table before picking up children from college, you might ease the tension of the out-of-school hustle, for instance. In this manner, their craving is quickly satisfied, but whenever they come back home, they have time to collect their breath. We may significantly lessen the level of strain we encounter in everyday life by making a few little scheduling adjustments now and again. 
For instance, you may prepare your meal the day before if you experience problems escaping the home and arriving at the office promptly. Or, to ensure that you do not lose your wallets or credit cards, place them in a designated bag close to the door. Establishing certain habits seems to be another excellent method to get ready for crisis spots daily. You will be stronger and able to accomplish the goals you truly value if you perform this. For instance, if having a tranquil beginning to the day is essential to you, you may establish a practice of rising early and having a quiet pot of joe. Regularity has value in our working practice as well. Consider asking yourself this question whenever you commence your work hours, what type of attitude and spirit do I desire to possess once I commence? Based on your response, you could follow a series like taking a stroll all across the street to calm your nerves or turning on a piece of spirited music to boost your spirits. Remember that rituals ought to be flexible and not rigid throughout. They could adjust to meet your demands. Your weekdays can change by making minor adjustments to make things simpler later and establishing useful habits. They are arranged the same as dominoes to produce a powerful chain of reactions. Chapter 5 Incorporating a few basic principles could drastically change your life. Have you already visited somebody else's home only to be inundated with several instructions on how to act that you appeared as though you were treading water? The purpose of existing rules is to maintain law and order inside the home. However, if things interfere with interpersonal relationships, they are detracting from the important things. However, if there are no restrictions, your home may become so chaotic and cluttered that you will be unable to unwind and love spending time with your loved ones. Establish just a few straightforward, doable guidelines that promote harmony in the home and benefit the people who live there in a common way. For instance, if trash accumulation quickly overwhelms you, you might establish a regulation mandating that someone in the household load the washing machine each night before sleep and empty it each morning. You must ensure that everyone has a position if you want to successfully combat mess. There are only so many rooms in your house. If you accumulate excessive things, this will eventually overflow from each drawer and wardrobe, leaving you weighed down by mess. You should not have to consider giving everything you own and adopting a modest lifestyle to feel more confident, but you might feel a lot better if you create room in your lifestyle for such issues that are important to you. Keeping your greatest valued possessions on exhibit is a good guideline to follow. For instance, if you enjoy reading, start making the best use of your accumulation by putting it on the largest bookcase you would locate. Ensure your pepper shelf has adequate room when you enjoy using peppers in your meals. Things will be simpler to locate and utilize if it has the appropriate room as well as a designated home. However, you ought to work harder to get rid of the stuff you do not want or enjoy. Damaged items, unworn clothing, and footwear only serve to obstruct the path. On your cutting board, random items can attract mess. You will discover that your surroundings begin to appear more practical and welcoming as you begin making deliberate selections regarding what you desire to maintain in your area. Because you are not always fighting against mess, it will turn into a place wherein you feel more liberated to communicate with your spouse or roommates. Chapter 6 You should spend a bit more time reflecting upon what is significant to you. Acting by your basic desires and expectations rather than living up to any organizational requirements or assumptions about how you ought to act has become a major theme of our discussion thus far. By doing so, you would be enabled to process to maximize or determine whatever is necessary for leading a fulfilling life. You will become free to concentrate on what is important to you rather than exhausting yourself attempting to accomplish all of it and please others. So this is fine and all, but how can I judge what is important? You might be asking. It is a really smart query. If you have wasted the majority of your lifetime attempting to fulfill the expectations of others and conform to their ideas of what a good life should look like, you might have entirely forgotten about your own needs. It may be necessary for you to take a moment to learn to pay attention to yourself whenever you experience aimlessness and purposelessness. You will have to achieve this by learning to F. Allow your instincts and personal experiences, possibly for the initial moment. You must carve out time to pamper yourself and relax to accomplish that. More than just hot showers and hydrating eye masks are part of self-care. Said, it is acting in a manner that causes you to feel much more like yourself. What gives you a sense of vitality, self-assurance, sparkle, and self-awareness? 
Does it intend to support? Taking a reading break? Are you heading out by yourself to a nightclub? The key, as with any lazy genius tactics, is to begin modestly. Rather than setting lofty goals like lavish spa getaways and quiet retreats that will never come to be, seek minute windows of leisure you can hammer out immediately. It is indeed possible to control yourself for 10 minutes even at the busiest times. You might arrange a half hour of workout each week, or every couple of weeks, you might arrange an entire day for yourselves. Ask yourselves what makes it seem hard if somehow this seems unattainable. Instead of not having enough time, this is frequently the case. You will be able to recognize and express your interests and ideals when you have developed a strong instinct. Additionally, you will learn whatever prevents you from concentrating on such things. What sort of psychological disturbance do you require to eliminate? Chapter 7 Although we are not able to always avoid them, we can choose the way we react to them. There are several periods and stages in our life. The surrounding habitat, the cycles of work and educational cycles, and major dates we frequently have almost no autonomy overall have an impact on such periods. For instance, the birth of a new child will drastically alter our objectives. When we lose our jobs, we may enter a new era of exploration while we look for fresh employment. Such periods can be challenging, uneasy, and even unpleasant at times. This is individualized. Although some young moms might feel blissful as they care for their infant, someone else might find that stage to be isolating and difficult. Both perspectives are legitimate. You must identify your sentiments and enable yourselves to stay with them, regardless of whether it hurts, rather than comparing yourselves to any other person. Naturally, it is simpler to say than to accomplish. This is only normal to want to run away from unpleasant emotions. This is however simply impossible in several circumstances. No matter how often you want she had reached the toddler stage, you will not be capable of speeding up your baby's development. And even though grieving is excruciatingly unpleasant, you cannot cease doing so when a spouse dies. Then what are your options? Know of the period, you may start showing up for your lives and benefit from everything it has to offer you. Being present is a daring action that will prevent you from giving up and enable you to develop. Acknowledging your current situation is different from despairing. You will realize that it makes it easier for you to start taking action. You will develop an awareness of simply performing another appropriate measure, whichever it may be, as opposed to getting caught up in future-centered forecasts that are fraught with misery. There are no endless seasons. Just as the dreary cold is interrupted by the emergence of springtime, so too will your situations improve. When you have remained active in the world, you will see that changes have also occurred within you. You will learn that you are capable of overcoming challenges and coming out stronger than before. Chapter 8 Before letting others in, you must first be your great buddy. A profound dread of failing motivates all perfectionists. As a result, they always endeavor to improve and transform themselves. Self-improvement techniques are frequently used by control freaks as a further tool to strike themselves with. With the techniques you have acquired within those sections, you may find yourself inclined to accomplish them. You can berate yourselves for being able to put all the helpful ideas into practice. You might also ponder how applying the lazy genius strategies will help you improve. However, you are not in any self-improvement endeavor, that is the issue. You are a unique individual who is valued in and of yourself. Why do not you try treating yourselves with the same type of generous compassion that you would extend to a buddy? Instead of berating yourselves for just not achieving your personal unattainable goals, how about concentrating on the development you have already accomplished? You will begin to make room for other individuals in your lives once you begin accepting who you are. Whether you know it or not, some individuals wish to help you all around you. However, if you continue to act ideally, people will not be capable of contacting you. Real contact can only happen once you are open and honest with others, allowing others to join you wherever you are. Is your home disorderly? Do you experience depression and anxiety? So, if you want to form friendships, you are in the right location. Consider letting guests into your clutter without saying sorry. If you are pressed for time or concerned regarding your cuisine, purchase pizza. Serving flawless meals or demonstrating to others how to put together you do not make someone a buddy. Finding the time for individuals to interact with you and encourage you is important. 
The amazing part is also that fragility spreads easily. With your pals, you may let your defenses down and permit them to follow suit with you. It is important to discuss problems and tensions with peers, but including them in your festivities is just as crucial. Appreciate all of your accomplishments, big and little. Enjoy the anniversary of the cat that belongs to anyone. Enjoy the autumn and the stunning red and orange shades of the trees. Honor the truth that you are living, painfully and gloriously, and that you can spend a new day with your loved ones. The Lazy Genius Way. Embrace what matters, ditch what doesn't, and get stuff done by Kendra Adaki Book Review Lazy geniuses are honest with themselves regarding their wants and requirements. They devote their effort to creating an environment that perfectly matches them instead of letting their need to satisfy others, as well as their control freak inclinations, drive them. They are aware that using helpful hints to enhance parenthood and household chores more enjoyable is perfectly acceptable. Lazy geniuses are realistic and believe that little improvements can have a significant impact. They emphasize being vulnerable and do not hesitate to solicit assistance. Nothing should be brought home without space for it. If you find yourself compelled to spend anything on a whim in the future, resist the urge and think about where you will keep it once you get a house. Is there room on your messy table for one more miniature of a living creature? Should you add two additional pasta packages to your already overflowing kitchen? You do not require anything if you cannot picture someplace to store it.